This guy shoots me in the back of the head right now. I'm gonna poop my pants, bro. Very sad, very sad. I heard you talking about the Shakira song earlier and now it's stuck in my head. I'm on tonight and my ears are light. I'm starting to feel it right. <clears throat> she sounds just like that. You're welcome. Shakira's nice, bro. Let's go through these rules, baby. Hoi. Deadly slob hitting it with a little tweet longer. Very excited because today we're going to be jumping into the civilian challenge, which has been proposed by Deadly Slob as a subsequent or follow up to the hardcore challenge. A little something different, a little something different this time around. And I'm excited to uh, to check it out and uh, and see how she goes, man. The civilian challenge. Take the role of a local civilian vigilante that has grown tired of the chaos and destruction happening in your backyard. Ooh, I like the lore, Deadly. I like the lore. You don't have the same connections like the PMCs do and only have access to local dealers with civilian purchase restrictions. When restricted, equipment is found in Tarkov. You immediately sell it back to the dealers to remove it from criminal hands. Sometimes, friendly PMC groups can be worked with, but for the most part, only law-abiding civ civilians can be trusted. As a civilian, you also don't have a connection to the underground flea market network. Working with scavengers is unacceptable. They are the enemy, along with the bosses and gangs. That's good lore, dude. I like that. I like that. I like having motivation, Deadly. That's nice. Now we understand why behind the rules. That's good. No flea market. The civilians won't be able to trade with PMCs. Okay. No scav raids. The civilian do not trade with criminal scum. Free container use. Nice. So this is a massive difference from the hardcore challenge here. You are going to be able to utilize your container freely. I like that. All hideout crafting is allowed. The civilians are crafty individuals. The scav box, which can be found in the hideout, is not allowed. No fence and no team restrictions, meaning that civilians will work with friendly PMCs. Purchase and barter restrictions. This is where we really get into the juice. Semi-automatic weapon purchases only. That's big. Big change to the way that you are going to play throughout the, uh, throughout the account. That's huge. Even bigger is 10 round magazine capacity for rifles and primary weapons. Huge. So this entire playthrough is all about making that shot placement count. That's going to be fun and it definitely is really well suited to my play style. I'm definitely all about the semi-autos, the DMRs, uh, low mag capacity. This is going to be fun, man. 20 round magazine capacity for pistols. No lethal grenade purchases. Again, this works out well for me because I'm not much of a grenadier. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't buy grenades. I'll use them occasionally if I pick them up off of players, but I don't purchase them. You can purchase all optics, modifications, and armors. Raid restrictions. Weapons found in raid can be used throughout the raid. So I assume that this also applies to fully automatic weapons. Any weapon capable of full auto must be sold immediately following the raid's completion. Weapon attachments can be stripped and kept for weapons that follow the guidelines of this challenge. Larger magazines found in raid can be kept and used in your civilian weapons. Nice. That's big. That's very big. Additional restrictions and regulations. Semi-automatic guns that only have 20 magazine capacity and above, such as the RSAS and the M1A, can be used during this challenge, but the magazines must be found in raid. No local dealer will sell them to you. So if we find an M1A or an RSAS, purchasing pinned magazines will not be allowed for the sake of this challenge. RSAS and M1A mags will have to be found from scavenging Tarkov. But if you want to buy the gun and single chamber it, that's fine. The magazine is restricted, not the guns. So you could bring in these guns, even if you don't have any mags, if you were unable to scavenge them and just single chamber each bullet. That's difficult and a very scary use of these uh, very high-powered rifles. Dress the part. I think this is the part I like the most. This is how you get the feels, man. Although there are no armor restrictions, try your best to dress the part as often as possible. Wear hats, buy clothes from Ragman that resemble a more civilian look. You're role-playing as a vigilante civilian in Tarkov trying to secure their home and attempt to resemble that at all times. That's dope. There's a lot of cool clothing options, and honestly, I think some of the civilian options are the coolest. What do you guys think? Thoughts and feelings? Sounds good, right? All right, dudes. This is a very unlucko spawn. Very scary. Very unlucko spawn. I see a player up there already. What 
relocate now and not push that lane. Because that dude will probably hold backwards now that we shot. Alright, so we're going to get all healed up here, and then I'm going to go back and take his Paka. Alright, that's definitely going to be the plan. And he should be good to go, man. We're going to be out of cheese. However, by killing that player, that is going to give us access to these garages, hopefully, with no issue. That would be really nice. Really, really nice. Alright, so we'll definitely get our Paka back. That's Pog. At the very least, we'll get some items that we need for the hideout. And some things that we can slang to increase our transaction cash with some of these traders that we want to level up sooner rather than later. I think that will be good. Very good. So we have no uh, no restrictions for, uh, for this. So we, we get to actually throw that in the alpha container. That's a feels good, man. That's a very big come up. Love to see it. Love to see it. Very big. That's a huge key right off the bat, man. Big come-ups, man. Big come-ups. Ooh. Extra juice? Hell, yeah, dude. Ultra Maska? Don't mind if I do. Guys, can we talk about the fact that I'm working on something very, very exciting? You guys are about to like what we got going on, man. Is it an OnlyFans, finally? You wish, you dirty girl. Do we see what kind of ammo he has? Really bad. I'm gonna say I doubt this guy goes under. I don't think you will. Yeah. A different guy. <laughs> Come on, baby. Hey, baby. Another guy back that way, I think. Just heard a step. I think that's my bridge guy that rapped. Dude, that bush got fucked up, dude. Big old screamy boy. Damn, the guy on the other side of this wall is slow playing like a mug as well. I think this guy dipped. He's R133s. They are looking for. This is a 2x2 two two unlucky. There's the other guy that we heard earlier. That's what's up. He's dead. Now the guy from the other side of this wall is going to be coming for my ass. So I got to be careful, chat. We got to be quick. It's a nice pistol to have. Pass, pass. Oh, Jesus Christ. This guy's going to really loot this fucking body right next to me. What a dumbo. No way is this happening, bro. No way. I know I need the backpack still, chat. Don't worry. Holy shit, dude. It's a lot of backpacks, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's a lot of storage. Those are great pickups, man. Great pickups. Oh, that's so nice to have, bro. Mm. 
We can't make that happen, though. It's just not in the cards, chat. It's not in the cards, man. Baby. I gotta be real honest with you right now. I gotta be real honest with you, baby. If I don't make it out of this raid with all the stuff that I have, I'm absolutely gonna shit my pants. Thank you. We can talk more about what we'll order for barbecue. Luego. You know it'd be pog? Extra pog? Oh my god, damn, that's scary. It'd be extra pog if this was open, man. This extract was open. Show me that green smoke. Son of a bitch, dude. I'm taking this real sweaty chat. Real sweaty sweaty. I don't want to get clapped up by nothing. Come on, Motel 6. Come on, Motel 6. Come on now. Come on now. Leave the light on for me, you son bitch. God damn it, bro. It's another fucking body here. Chat, this is spooky as shit. What happened to you? Ho! A fucking Fortish shift? Monka, player. <laughs> Wait, did he have swordins? He had swordins, chat? What do you mean? What do you mean? Give me that mag. Give me the mag. Dude, what is this player doing? This has to be a scav, right? This has to just be a scav shit in its pants. Wait, he has a bigger... What rig does he have? Chat, I'm pooping my pants over here. Okay, just keep backseating and we'll eventually have all the good stuff. <laughs> just keep backseating, chat. It's very important. I need you to do me a solid. Just keep going with it. This guy shoots me in the back of the head right now. I'm going to poop my pants, bro. Very sad. Very sad. This has to be a scaff. Uh oh. I tagged him three times at least. Monka, monka, monka. Monka, monka, monka. What the fuck? Monka, monka, monka. Monka, monka, monka. I don't know what to do, chat, because I really want this 133, but I don't think it's the time to take one. I think we just say, fuck you, 133, and we grab this little guy, this little ditty right here, because it has a goddamn PSO on it. You know what I'm saying? Let me throw that little ditty right there. You know what I'm saying? I, I think it's just not the time. The time is not right. You understand? The time's not right, chat. Holy shit. We are so hot right now. Bro, we are so hot right now. Monka, monka, monka. So we know there's a player ahead of us towards extract. We're just fighting a scav. Monka, monka, monka. We need to create distance in this fight, chat. So we're going to go up onto the ledge and utilize our PSO best of our abilities. Here we go. There is so much on the line right now chat there is so much on the line it is insane <sighs> for this kind of a playthrough bro this would launch our account into the next mother trucking millennia you understand what i'm saying do you understand what i am saying go 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 Let's go! That's a raid! Woo! Love to see that! That's good stuff! Yo, GG's! Big GG's in the chat! Oh, mama!